The Mule 2.0 just got back from a bicycle trip and I'm already thinking of version 3.0 Not that I want to take even more luggage with me, but the problem is in the front this baggage carrier moves back and forth with the front wheel so when you have a lot of stuff on there it's, uh, the steering becomes really heavy and the frame wobbles a little bit. So I was thinking about making a um, baggage carrier that uh, is fixed to the frame and not to the steering. Ta-da! You see I took the fork out of the bike. That's the rest of the frame. So now I made these. This is 5 mm thick steel or almost a quarter of an inch if you like. And I cut out a hole with a plasma cutter. So now the idea is to weld one of these on top and one in the bottom. And that will give me a base for a baggage carrier. But first I gotta file out these holes so they fit exactly on the frame. And after repeating this for like a hundred times, it fits. Now I can start with the bottom one. Okay, done. You see, now I have these two really sturdy steel flanges that fit over the frame tube. And I'm gonna use them as a base to weld a baggage rack to the bike frame. Okay, that didn't go too badly. So now those two square pieces are attached to the frame. Now I'm gonna start building a rectangle with these L-shaped profiles. Nice strong welds. See now I have this rectangular frame on my bicycle frame that I'm going to use as a base to basically make a kind of shelf. Next step now there is a horizontal shelf on the rack and some diagonal supports to keep it from bending down. Next step. See now I have the basket in place. This was a lot of work because I have seven bars like this seven bars like this so that's 49 junctions and at the edge I welded everything from the bottom and from the top and then um, the crossings I welded two times and then in the bottom also two times so these were hundreds of welds I just like to make everything sturdy and then I have these because I thought maybe the rack would have a tendency to sway left and right so that's why I have these diagonal supports also when there is a lot of weight on the rack it's gonna want to do this and so it will pull on this tube which is not a a force that uh, frame is designed to take so that's also why I have these uh, supports okay and now the next step will be to um, make a rack here that holds the pannier bags that are beside the wheel so now we have this humongous baggage carrier on the front as you can see, 
those little flat profiles are completely warped <laughs> this is of course because I'm an amateur it's because of the heat so now I want pannier bags like this hanging on the side so I made a support like this see and this is gonna hang on the baggage carrier here and it's kind of tailor-made for these bags you see if you pull yeah okay I ran into a small problem this bike that I use for traveling, aka the mule, I also use it to pull a trailer. And the trailer connects to the rear axle of the the axle of the rear wheel. And um, on the baggage carrier, I welded these tubes to prevent the bags from hitting the, the rear wheel when I'm riding. And this was in the way for the trailer, so I had to take this off again. So now I'm making a system that I can remove. See, I'm gonna weld these plates on here, then drill a hole, and then I'm gonna weld something like this drill a hole here and then I have tubes that I can just um, screw on and off okay so I made two of these now normally this is the bike rack the axle of the rear wheel is normally here so now I can connect the trailer there's nothing here just have those two little plates so when I'm not using the trailer and I want to go traveling, I just bolt these on here. So and I've got one of these large, large bags here. This is going to prevent the bag from hitting the rear wheel. And also that hook is going to be here, see? So here's the bike, finished and painted. These uh, subframes are removable. I put bolts here. But when the subframe is under, I can still make a U-turn in a narrow street. So the limitation of the steering is not too bad and I can remove these little subframes if I want to use a trailer but now it's the beginning of September and the mule is uh, finished and upgraded but I'm not gonna be able to do another uh, bicycle trip this year there's a, a lot of stuff going on, so I'm gonna have to try it next year. It wasn't easy getting it up there because it weighs 28 kilos now, empty.